Next on Auto Show TV, which to choose, the Subaru Forester or the Outback? We're stopping by Anchor. Also servicing your car, truck, or SUV at Cerrone's in South Attleboro. We'll get up close with the versatile 2015 Jeep Cherokee with Elmwood. And a look at the new 2016 Volkswagen Tiguan at Maddie and Fall River. All that and more next on Auto Show TV. Is if the vehicle senses a kill. A killer on the a list. Killer. <laughs> I'm going to run it over. It's Auto Show TV. Good morning. Welcome to Auto Show TV and thanks for checking us out. I'm John Coletto. We're here at Anchor Subaru in North Smithfield. A little bit later on in the show, we're going to be comparing the Outback and the Forester. You know, this is such a great time of year to be car shopping. The 2016s are out. We've got a lot to get to this morning on the show, so let's get started. Well, folks, we're with Al Cerrone from Cerrone Chevrolet Buick GMC Route 1 in South Attleboro. Al, the new showroom, the new front of the house came out great. It did. But today we want to talk about the back of the house because that's important too. It sure is. You know, up front, this is where all the glamour is. Your car or truck is brand new and it's shiny when you buy it, but when you drive it for a while and you ultimately need service, you have to go to the back of the house. And today, I want to focus on service because these folks are the ones, the guys and girls back there, keep your vehicle running great. They do a terrific job. They don't always get the credit for it, so let's go give them a little bit of love. John, it all starts with the driving lane. People drive inside. Now, if it's raining or snowing, it doesn't matter. You're not going to get wet. Then you come in here to the service reception area. We have four service writers, so you're not going to wait in line to tell people what's wrong with your car. And you never get a second chance to make a first impression. Our folks are courteous, professional. They know what they're doing, and they're good at explaining to you what we're going to do to your car or truck and why. After you're finished with our service advisors, we've got this beautiful waiting room. State-of-the-art coffee and latte machines, snacks, we've got internet, and if you want to get up and walk around a little bit, we're like 20 feet away from the show and you just walk around and check out the new cars. These folks here, they're really the unsung heroes. They're our technicians, and I may add, they are all ASC certified which means they've taken all the training and there's lots of it, and they've passed the tests. You've invested an awful lot of money here in the back of the house, haven't you? For example, the Hunter wheel alignment machine. Big bucks, but you gotta have it. Not everybody does. I love the fact that it gives you a computer printout for your customer. They can see that what, the, what the alignment was before it was corrected and then after and it's all right there on a piece of paper. It's foolproof. Yes, it is. And John, it takes somebody highly capable to be able to run that machinery. And John, you wouldn't believe the technology just in the machine to balance your tires. The old days, it was a bubble balancer. Yeah. Not anymore. Look at this machinery. Even when it's something as basic as changing the oil, look, our technicians are under the hood anyway. It only takes them a couple of minutes to look around and assess the overall condition of the vehicle. And if they see something, well, we'll let you know about it, especially if it's safety related. And then we'll explain everything to you and give you options. You know, there are many dealers out there and they probably can service cars, but how many can make the claim that they can service cars and trucks? And not just pickup trucks. Oh no, the pickup trucks are just a small part of our business. We're talking commercial trucks, the big boys. And I gotta tell you, servicing commercial trucks is a whole different ball game. Talking about service, there are three areas that you need to cover. A, you've got to have the facility. For instance, the garage doors have to be high enough to get big vehicles in there. Secondly, you've got to have the equipment. Let's take this lift. Now this lift is capable of picking up 30,000 pounds. You need it to pick up big trucks like this. Yeah. Now this is a pretty big dump truck. It's 17.5. You can pick up way more than this truck on this lift. Yes, we can. And the third area, you need the technicians to be able to service these trucks. I want to tell you, people that drive these trucks, they can't work and they can't earn unless their truck is on the road. So when people call up and they have a problem with their commercial truck, we owe it to them to get it in right away and get it fixed right away the right way. John, anyone can sell a car or truck, but what do you do with it afterwards? It's a huge investment. You've got the facility, 
You've got the tools, the technology, you've got to have the equipment, and you've got to have the people. And the people here in the service department really are, they're, they're our unsung heroes. And we want our customers to have the confidence to know that if they bring their car in here or their truck, we can get the job done right. So folks, if you need service for your car or truck, bring it here to Cerrone's. And you'll be glad you did. Dennis Freeman from Elmwood Auto Group is here this morning to talk about the Jeep Cherokee. Here it is, the 2015 Jeep Cherokee. The Jeep Cherokee was reintroduced in 2013 as a 2014 model, and it's been one of our best sellers ever since. Goldilocks would love the Cherokee <laughs> because it's not too big, it's not too small, it's just right. It is literally the perfect size SUV. And there's a Jeep Cherokee for everybody. The Jeep Cherokee Sport is the entry level model. That starts at a price point in the low 20s. Then you step up to the Jeep Cherokee Latitude, which gives you added features such as power seats, an available six cylinder engine, deep tinted glass, available moon roof, available backup camera. Then you step up to the Limited. Now the Limited model is the top of the line. The Limited model comes with high end features such as adaptive cruise control, forward collision warning, and parallel park assist, which is a pretty amazing feature. But we can't forget about the Trailhawk model. The Trailhawk is for our die-hard Jeep fans. The Trailhawk model gives you full undercarriage skid plates, a more aggressive deep tread tire, two and a half inches of extra ground clearance, as well as front and rear tow hooks. And another thing exclusive to the Trailhawk model is the painted bumpers as well as the painted grill inserts. I love this. This is a great accident. This, is, this, this really makes it stands out. Another cool feature is the, uh, is the hood decal, exclusive to only the Trailhawk model. Now before we get to the interior, Victoria, I can't forget to mention the class exclusive 9-speed automatic transmission that is under the hood in all models of the Cherokee. That class exclusive 9-speed automatic transmission allows the Cherokee to achieve low 30s for gas mileage on the highway. That's great. It is great. Very impressive for this size SUV. And let's talk about size for just a moment. The interior of the Jeep Cherokee is very spacious. The rear of the front seats are actually flexed to give the rear occupants more leg room. The rear seats are a 60-40 split folding seat. You can fold down one side or both sides for maximum cargo capability. Before we actually get into the vehicle, I want to mention that the Jeep Cherokee comes with remote keyless enter and go. This fob never has to leave your pocketbook or your pocket. As you're entering the vehicle, simply touch the pad on the back of the handle and all the doors will unlock. When you exit the vehicle, simply press the black button and all four doors will lock. Very cool feature for a busy mom or somebody who has their hands full. Again, the key fob never has to leave your pocket. As we peek on the inside of the Cherokee, you'll notice that the leather seats are perforated and that's for the air conditioned seats. The Cherokee actually has heated seats and cooled seats, which is a very nice, nice feature. The seats are also power eight-way seats, and there's also a lumbar support lever for your lower back. As you can see in the center console, there's an eight and a half inch screen, and that display screen shows your backup camera, as well as all your interior features, such as your heat and AC controls, your heated seat controls, you can adjust the radio stations from there, and if we look on the left, there's also an electronic vehicle information center, so there's, there's a lot of information in both of those systems on the inside. The Jeep Cherokee comes standard with a ton of safety features, and it also comes standard with nine airbags. One of the safety features that comes standard is the EARS system. It's Enhanced Accident Response System. In the event of an accident, the interior lights will turn on, all your doors will unlock, your interior lights will turn on, and the fuel supply will be shut off. And on the inside of the mirror, there's also a 911 button and an assist button. Those features are standard on all models. That's great. Another awesome feature on the Jeep Cherokee is the panoramic moonroof. You have a glass roof essentially from front to back. Now SUVs still have the reputation of being loud, being noisy, and simply put, ride like a truck. And that's not the case with the Jeep Cherokee. One of the things that a lot of my customers tell me when they come back from a test drive with the Cherokee is they can't believe how quiet the cabin is. They can't believe how smooth the ride is. And a lot of things that you can't see on the inside of the vehicle is the extra insulation that they put throughout the vehicle. 
And that's one of the things that the engineers at Jeep have really strived for over the years, is a nice smooth ride and a nice quiet cabin. Well, Victoria, unfortunately, summer is over and winter is fast approaching. And we at Elmwood have the best selection of four-wheel drive SUVs. I'd like to invite anybody who may be interested in a newer used SUV to come on down to Elmwood Auto Group and take advantage of our Jeep Celebration event and get yourself a great deal. Coming up, choosing between the Forester and the Outback. You're watching Auto Show TV. The official auto loan provider of Auto Show TV is Navigant Credit Union for all your new, used, and classic car and truck financing needs. You love everything about your new ride. It smells so good. But maybe you could be paying a little less for it. It's not too late, you know. Let Navigant Credit Union take a look at your rate. We could help you refinance and maybe save you a little every month. What could you do with the extra money? Hmm. Road trip, maybe? Navigant Credit Union. Enjoy life's journey. We are back on Auto Show TV and we're here at Anchor Subaru in North Smithfield to talk about the 2016 Outback and the 2016 Forester. Mike Hersey is with us from Anchor Subaru. Is it fair to say that people who are looking at the Outback, I'm sure probably comparing to the Forester and vice versa? Oh, absolutely, yeah. The, these, these cars have been sisters of each other since the, the late 90s now and that's been the question asked. Which one do I get? Uh, Outback definitely geared more towards entry level luxury, I'd say. Uh, it's also a little bit wider and a little bit longer than the Forester. Forester wins on height. If you need the extra headroom, this would definitely be the one. Also geared more towards the sport utility side. Uh, not trimmed as nicely as the Outback possibly could be. How about ground clearance? Oh, ground clearance, exactly the same between the two. 8.7 inches on both of them, but you feel like you sit a little bit higher in the Forester uh, compared to the Outback. The Outback's more of a wagon. You feel like you sit in it and everything's kind of around you. Tires? Oh, tires are practically the same, uh, 17 inches on both until you get to the upper trim levels, you can get 18 inches on both. Mike, one of the big differences I see right here between the Forester and the Outback, the roof rails. Absolutely, both come with roof rails. Uh, difference being on the, on the Outback here, it actually contains your crossbars all the time. It's completely standard on every single trim level. All you have to do, lift up on the handle and just drop it in place. And that's it. They tuck back into the roof rails just to get better fuel economy. Yep, and there's some extra positioning, two options, right? Absolutely, up there. this rear bar actually moves back about six inches for, for heavier cargo, and there's four 150-pound tie-downs up top, just so you don't have to wrap string all the way around the car anymore. Can you get crossbars on the Forester? Oh, absolutely, it is an extra accessory. You can either get them through Subaru or through an aftermarket. Mike, let's talk about cargo capacity and storage in both the Outback and the Forester. Oh, absolutely, yeah, both extremely similar. Again, this being more of a crossover wagon, the Forester being more of a crossover SUV. Uh, they both have just under 35 feet of cargo capacity with the seats up in the back, um, with the seats folded down in both about 75 feet. They're within tenths of an inch of each other. Both can come with this privacy screen for, for your luggage so nobody can look in through your window and see what you have. Both can come with this nice rubberized mat just to contain any kinds of spills or anything. Uh, like I said, both seats fold flat. It's a 60-40 split on both sides and both can actually recline as well. And power liftgate. Power liftgate, absolutely, yeah. That's uh, standard on the Limited. You can get it as an option on the Forester. You can operate it with the remote and it does have a height, a height memory so you don't end up whacking your garage if you, if you park inside. Sure. And both come with the, the rear camera as well that's standard on every single Subaru now. Mike, let's talk about the engines. I see both vehicles have the 2.5 liter four cylinder. Is that what comes standard? Yes, yeah, on, on both of these. The Outback can get up to a six cylinder with 256 horsepower. Uh, the Forester can get a four cylinder turbo. Definitely, again, geared more towards the enthusiast. So you get a turbo option here, a six cylinder option there. Absolutely. How about towing? Oh, good question. Actually, the Outback can tow up to 3,000 pounds with that six cylinder. Uh, the Forester up to 1,500. Mike, let's talk the good stuff. Safety and technology, Absolutely. Subaru, you know, there's a, there's a long list. Absolutely, my favorite stuff. Uh, th these two, along with the rest of Subaru's lineup, of course, top safety picks, five-star crash safety ratings from the IIHS. Uh, this Outback happens to have uh, Subaru's latest and greatest uh, safety achievement, the EyeSight system. Yep. Uh, four pillars being pre-collision throttle management, pre-collision braking, uh, adaptive cruise control, and lane sway warning. Uh, 
This being the Generation 2 EyeSight that you cannot get in the Forester just yet, also has lane keep assist. If you're falling asleep at the wheel on the highway, it'll actually pull you back into your lane. Very strange to use, uh, but very effective. A lot of technology to keep you out of an accident. If you get in an accident, of course, the safety in, in terms of the integrity of the passenger exactly. compartment, yeah. right? Tons of active and, and passive safety features. Uh, both have Subaru's ring reinforced frame, uh, where if you get in a side collision, it transfers that energy into the rings where they're supposed to be. If you get in a front end collision, the engine will dive underneath the car, the drive shaft is meant to break in half, uh, the pedals go up into the dash, the steering wheel goes off to the side, all these things working together to make sure nothing hits you at the end of the day. Mike, this is good stuff, but I'm sure some of our viewers are still like, I still can't decide which one, what do you say? That, that, that is the age old question. I've owned both. There's a reason Super still makes both of these, despite of how similar they are. Uh, you, you can look up reviews all day. You have to come and try them. You, you have to. It's that last 5% that's all about personal feel. Here at Anchor Subaru. Here at Anchor Subaru, we have the best selection around. We've been doing this for 20 years. We're a family owned dealership. We have a lifetime warranty on our vehicles. I can't think of a reason not to. Come on down. Auto Show TV's Car Care Tips, presented by Melvin's Tire Pros, where buying tires and fixing your car is never a hassle. Here this morning with Jim Melvin at Tire Pros in Smithfield. We have some questions from the mailbag. Great. You have fans. Outstanding. <laughs> so here we go. And these are good. Uh, it seems like an alternator can go without warning. Is there anything you can do to prepare? John, that's a great question. The answer to that question is no. An alternator being an electrical item is kind of similar to a light bulb. One minute it works, the next minute it doesn't. In some cases, a battery light may come on in your dashboard, which is going to give you a warning or an indicator that you've got an issue. What I would recommend is this, particularly going into the cold weather. Swing it by one of our stores, let's load test the charging system. That's going to check the, the life of the battery. It's also going to make sure that all the diodes in the alternator are working properly and properly charging your vehicle. What about putting in a used or reconditioned alternator as some people do? Not an issue. There are some parts that we don't like to replace on a remanufactured basis just due to the success of the repair. An example of that may be like a brake master cylinder where the hydraulics can't properly be rebuilt. What we like to do is we would like to get a remanufactured alternator or starter. We have no problems with it whatsoever. Very high success replacing these without any issues. Good to know. All right, another question. Are the new kinds of air pressure tire machines at gas stations and convenience stores accurate? Well, another good question. I would certainly give them the benefit of the doubt. The moral to that story being, get your air pressure check. Just assume that the gauge is going to be good. But in most cases, I would say yes. Okay. All right, here's the last one. Since you really don't need a tune-up anymore, besides the obvious, what things should be maintained in the first 50,000 miles? Most vehicles today in the first 50,000 miles are simply a matter of fluid exchanges. Changing your engine oil, changing your antifreeze, and in some cases with antifreeze, antifreeze can last up to 100,000 miles. Brake fluid breaks down. So fluid exchanges, air filters, cabin air filters, and the most important hard part replacement under 50,000 miles is wiper blades. Particularly getting into the bad weather, make sure your wiper blades are in good shape. And you guys do this stuff here every day at Tire Pros. Absolutely, where having your car fixed and servicing your tires is never a hassle. You love everything about your new ride. It smells so good but maybe you could be paying a little less for it. It's not too late, you know. Let Navigant Credit Union take a look at your rate. We could help you refinance and maybe save you a little every month. What could you do with the extra money? Hmm, road trip maybe? Navigant Credit Union, enjoy life's journey. Rhode Island's best kept secret has been revealed. It's the new Colonial Toyota in Smithfield. Minutes from Providence and right off routes 295 and 146 in Smithfield and just up the street from Lincoln Mall. Folks come from all over to Colonial Toyota for the selection, expertise and pricing. Plus Colonial Toyota's world class service is second to none. We have 20 bays in our shop here at Colonial Toyota, 18 full time service technicians including techs who have achieved the highest level of certifications from Toyota, Toyota Master Diagnostic Technicians and we have four hybrid technicians who have achieved the highest level of certification with Toyota as well. When customers arrive here at Colonial Toyota, they're able to pull right inside our building, which is really nice when there's bad weather. We meet them right at the car and review all of their service needs. If you'd like, we'd be happy to bring you into the shop to see your vehicle and explain what we're recommending and why that work needs to be done. 
We have over $10 million of parts available to us within 24 hours, and we also have the Toyota Tire Center. You can visit us at ColonialToyota.com to schedule your service appointment with us online 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, and you can view our service specials page for savings coupons we have available. If you'd like to leave your vehicle with us, we have shuttle service. We'll drive you to work or back home if you'd like. We also have rental cars available. But if you choose to wait here at Colonial, we have a convenient, comfortable waiting area right next to our sales showroom. I think the thing I'm most proud of here at Colonial Toyota is our commitment to exceed your expectations. The vehicle exchange program here at Colonial Toyota consists of us monitoring your current vehicle, which means if you're going to go over your mileage on your lease, we'll let you know. If you can trade in your vehicle and keep your payments the same with no money down, we can also let you know that when the best time is to trade your vehicle in. We make it as simple as you just walking over to our sales department while you're here for service. Uh, we have a staff here in our vehicle exchange department to help you and assist you with any vehicle exchange questions that you might have. Uh, they're also at your service by phone, via email, or just walking over to the sales department. So here's an example of the program that we utilize for the vehicle exchange program here at Colonial Toyota. Uh, in this particular case, this gentleman can actually lower his current monthly payment on his Avalon lease before he goes over his mileage, because it does show here that he will go over his mileage about $500 at the end of his lease, but he can trade out of it right now before he actually gets those mileage penalties on his current Avalon, get into the new Avalon with no money down and actually lowers payment about $22 a month. With today's busy world, uh, we actually handle our internet sales clients with fast, easy, and convenient service. We can help you select the vehicle that you're looking for online, as well as prepare your financing. Therefore, when you come into the dealership, it'll be a nice, easy, simple, convenient, and short time. Here at Colonial Toyota, our job is to exceed our customers' expectations by being upfront and honest. We want this to be an easy process buying a car from us. Our upfront sales specialists are trained on a daily basis to provide our customers the information they are looking for. Customers get the information they ask for, whether it's product information, price information, or both. It's that easy. Also, we deal with all credit situations. If your credit has been down the bumpy road, come visit us at our Credit Collision Center at Colonial Toyota. We finance all. Well, there you have it. We have some great things going on here at the new Colonial Toyota. A world-class service department, over 20 bays to service everyone in the greater Providence area. We have a complimentary shuttle service. We have rental cars available. We have a new and used car inventory with over 350 vehicles. Great selection. We have one of the fastest growing sales department in all of New England. So give us a try for the best car buying experience of your life. And look us up on the web at colonialtoyota.com. The new Colonial Toyota in Smithfield. Rhode Island's best kept secret has been revealed. We are back on Auto Show TV. We're here at Maddie Imports in Fall River, where they specialize in Audis and Volkswagens. We're going to talk Volkswagen today. Jonathan Tataglione is here to show us the all new 2016. Volkswagen Tiguan. It's gorgeous, a lot to talk about. There certainly is. The, uh, the Tiguan, for those who aren't familiar, is Volkswagen's five-passenger crossover SUV. And uh, it's power planted by a four-cylinder, two-liter turbocharged engine. Car makes tons of punch, though. 200 horsepower, 207 foot-pounds of torque. So you get the performance of a six-cylinder, but the, uh, the fuel efficiency of a four-cylinder. Uh, the car is going to do about 27, 28 miles per gallon on the highway, really putting it up there with some of the, uh, the best competitors in its segment. And John, another great standard feature on all the Tiguan models now is the Kessie system in addition to that push button start. Really, really cool feature. As long as the Volkswagen key fobs within two and a half feet of the door, you can lock the door, get in the car, and start the vehicle without ever having to press the button. Simply slide your finger across the front of the car, it'll lock it, you'll hear the audible note. Put your hand behind the handle, you'll notice the lights blink, it'll let me in the car. Another really cool feature is, you know, sometimes you get out the car, your kids left the window down. Volkswagen made it nice and uh, innovative. Just leave your finger over the button here. It'll actually send the windows up for you as well. Now, does this also work if you have a moonroof? It does, yeah, yeah. I leave my moonroof open all the time. Quick little hold of the button will close the moonroof as well for you. Well, Jonathan, let's open up the lift gate here. Nice and easy. Nice, nice and easy, and you get tons of space in the Volkswagen Tiguan as well. Uh, you know, in the back seat, you do get a 60-40 rear folding seat, as well as a center pass-through, so maybe if you need a couple passengers in the car, but you got to get a 2x4 or ski in. All right, so Jonathan, this is where 
those people who are coming in to look at this 2016 Tiguan, they're gonna be interested in all of this. This is a uh, composition media 6.3 inch screen. Now, uh, now standard on all Volkswagen Tiguans is a, a form of this, whether it be a bit smaller or a little bit larger like we have here in front of us. You've got it hooked up to an iPhone. I do, uh, currently any iPhone uh, 5 or newer, so if you're with the S or the 6 models. A uh, simple USB connection will actually allow you to connect into what's called the Volkswagen CarPlay system. Take us through some of the functions here. Absolutely, so, uh, so what you're seeing essentially is that, that home screen on your iPhone. Uh, what's really nice about the Tiguan now is, uh, in particular, with, uh, with this system here, when you're hardwired with the USB system, a car that isn't normally equipped with navigation, we all have maps on our phones these days, simple press of the button right on screen will actually pull your maps up from your phone and onto the, uh, the radio screen in front of you here. And just like as if you had navigation built into the car, you have the ability to go ahead and use it. Pretty cool little feature, you're going to notice your little iPhone square here in the corner. Just like on your phone, it will bring you back to the home menu. Now, how about for those who don't have a smartphone? Uh, very simply, you do have a, a standard menu that is available to you. Uh, simply pressing a band button will bring you over to the uh, AM, FM, or even satellite radio display. Uh, you know, you have your standard options. Of course, you do have a single disc CD player available to you. What is nice with this is uh, if you're not, say, hardwired with an iPhone, maybe you have a little bit of an older phone, you can do audio streaming as well without any wires connected to the car. A really convenient Volkswagen actually introduced this infrared sensor. Allows you to get into some of the setup menus a little bit easier. Makes things a little bit uh, nice. more convenient for you, which is really nice. And working our way down, I see you've got uh, heated seats here in this model. Of course. And then what's nice with the Tiguan is in all models, uh, keyless entry and push button start is a standard feature. So no more key in the ignition. Right. And moving here in front, right in front of you, you've got your information display. What is this going to tell the driver? This is a, an MFI display in the, uh, the lingo in the car business. And what's really nice about this with, uh, with Volkswagen is they leave it all in the steering wheel controls here for you. So again, you can stay focused on driving, but allows you to go through an abundance of options. Things like how many miles until you're empty, your overall average consumption, um, you know, how many miles per gallon, how long, you, how long you've been driving. How about overhead here in this console? Uh, this is actually really, really cool. Uh, this is what's called Volkswagen CarNet. Uh, virtually makes the car unstealable, A. Uh, there is a GPS locator in the vehicle, so no matter where the car is, you're able to see where it is. Believe it or not, with a free app that Volkswagen allows you to download on your iPhone or Android device, uh, you know, emergency services are available to you. A uh, really, really nice feature that's all new to the, uh, the 16 Tiguan as well is the automatic headlight. And I'll tell you, nobody likes cleaning off snow in their cars, and a really nice feature on every Volkswagen model is the heated exterior mirrors. Jonathan, there's no question that the crossover SUV market is very competitive. People have a lot of choices out there, but after seeing the Tiguan, the 16 Tiguan, I think it really should be on people's radar. Yeah, Volkswagen did a great job with uh, things that were upgrades now becoming standard features and, and really remarketing their, their price point on the car, really bringing things, in, things down and making it much more achievable and attainable uh, for those in that particular market. And why should they come here to Maddie? Well, we're, we're family owned, 33 years in the business. Uh, no brand change, no name change, and certainly no integrity change. We, uh, we treat our customers right, we treat them like family, and we try to make it an enjoyable experience. Well, we're wrapping things up this morning on Auto Show TV. For more information about any of our dealerships, go to our website, theautoshow.tv. I'm John Coletto. Have a safe week on the roads. Don't drink and drive, and don't text and drive. This has been Auto Show TV, produced in cooperation with Auto Intelligence. Thanks to our participating dealers and sponsors. This has been Auto Show TV.